Hi, welcome to the handover for the new venture, New Surf 2014 on a Citroen. We'll start with we'll a quick wander around the driver's side. So as you enter the cab area, just a standard Citroen inside, 5 speed gearbox, electric mirrors, CD player, rev counter, your reverse camera screen, some storage there, your cup holders down there, your boiler flue for your heating, don't get that blocked. Your 240 volt electric hookup point, your wastewater drain, your toilet can set in here, simply press this yellow lever up here, and extract it, take it to the septic tank, empty it, put it back in and make sure this wee clip locks back down again. Round the back your fridge vents and your reverse camera up top. Your gas locker takes two 6 kilogram bottles and your jack stabilising brace goes through this hole here and into the there and it leans lights down at the back to support it at the back. Your habitation door entry, behind your habitation door your diesel filler cap, your water filler cap. As you enter the van you've got your step button just to the left hand side. To your right hand side you've got your four ring gas burner and your small grill underneath it. All gas. Your fridge. Operates on gas, electric and battery. And then you've got a temperature control there and if you're going to light it on gas, press that button there and when this goes green it means that you're lit on gas. You've got a 240 volt socket and a 12 volt socket above your sink area. Now on this van it's only cold water, there's no hot water so you want any hot water you will have to boil a kettle or boil a pan of hot water. A couple of nice storage covers up above. Inside your toilet. You've got your toilet, your toilet flush, your toilet cassette indicator and down here you've got your grey lever for opening and closing your toilet. Your toilet roll holder, nice wee wardrobe, a couple of coat hooks, the wash hand basin and again your tap which is on the cold water. Inside your lounge area you have some storage underneath here which is accessed from these doors here. Or you can lift this up. Now this simply pulls out both sides and then your cushion slides forward. That makes your bed area in the middle along with your cushions which are inside the overhead locker. You've also got your fridge vents there for use in the winter. Your table's over there. Your table pole is here which goes into the hole in the centre of the floor and then you have your carpets for the habitation area to make it a bit cosier. All your windows, skylights, all have blackout blinds and fly screens. Your heating is controlled by this control panel over here. So up the way for electric, down the way for gas, and then the centre switch tells you how hot you want it to be. A nice wee 240 volt socket down there for you. And if you come to your main control panel, simply press on in this button here. Over here tells you the temperature. Tells you your battery level, tells you your water level. This is for turning on your lights inside the van, or you can use the wee individual switches to turn them on and off as you like. And then this one here is for your water pumps. You need to use this when you want to use your tap in the bathroom and your tap in here. You need to turn this on, but don't turn it on if you don't have any water in it, because you may risk burning out the pump. And this wee sensor above, that's where you get your temperature from, from this wee panel over here. Okay, I look forward to seeing you and any questions just drop me a wee line.